I have just finished the irrigation lines on this side of the greenhouse. Notice right here at the walkway edge, you will see all of these one inch poly dead ends where I have also double crimped each of these drip lines and then went around that double crimp with electrical tape before I put this one inch poly end piece on there. And tomorrow, once I finish working over here, I'm going to go back and take spray foam and spray foam each end of these dead ends. And let me go up here and show you how they are all simply just teeing into the main perimeter line that I started running earlier this morning. And there you go, guys. Now, a lot more digging to go and a lot more lines to run over there. It is currently raining inside the greenhouse and I have made a lot of progress on the drip lines. And I mentioned earlier, as far as these dead end pieces are concerned, how I am double crimping each end. And what I simply mean by that is I'm just folding this over, folding it over a second time, then wrapping it with the electrical tape. And then it is very difficult to do so, but I'm then like twisting this and cramming this on top of that. And then once I'm finished, it kind of looks like that inside there, but there's a crimp on this end as well as a crimp on that end. And once I finish these last few remaining pieces, I'm going to then come back and take spray foam and spray foam each end of these dead end pieces of that five inch poly that I cut. And um, I'll show you guys a shot of all that once I get that wrapped up. And there's you a better shot of it. You can see how I've double crimped it there. There's the electrical tape. And now I've got to get to muscling this over the top of that. And as a reminder, all of these black pieces on these dead ends are simply five inch increments of the one inch poly water line that I ran underground to the greenhouse. I have just finished foaming each end of each individual dead end. And once that foam finishes curing, I will go back and trim each of those off as neat as I possibly can. And I'm starting to get really excited now because as soon as I get all of this excess foam cleaned up, it's then going to be time to go inside, get the plants, and start putting them inside the ground, and then connecting each individual drip line to each individual plant spacing. Guys, stay tuned. I can't wait to show it all to you. Thank you for your time, and we'll talk to each of you inside that next video.